Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the IFA Executive Director and Executive Vice President for Messe Berlin, Mr. Jens Heitecker. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> and welcome to the second keynote of IFA 2018. For me, IFA is a barometer of our industry to see the big trends for consumers to see the big technology drivers, and you really have to come to Berlin for this. And what you experience here at IFA is not only cutting edge, it's ready for consumers. But that makes IFA a test bed, a test bed for our industry's biggest challenge. Are the consumers also ready for it? Does it work for them? It's a big question. And looking for answers, we have more than 250,000 visitors at IFA who come from 120 countries around the world. Here in Berlin, they decide what will be on retailers' shelves and websites this Black Friday and Singles Day and Christmas. During the past few years, we have heard a lot about the benefits of connectivity for mobile devices and connected appliances to TVs, audio, and all these devices in the smart home. Wonderful, right? Well, no. With all these devices, who really wants to do the setup and run this new connected life? Not every family has a teenager who is ready and willing to take on the job. Plus, your teenager is probably more interested in playing Fortnite than making your home smart. The solution to our, problem, to our problem is, of course, artificial intelligence. AI is going to be the glue that holds our connected lives together. And more importantly, AI will make us humans smarter. Because it's perfect for taking on the boring jobs, the chores, the switching on and off of things. AI not only takes care of things, it's taking care of us. It can help us and not just to work better, live smarter, and be healthier. Artificial intelligence is used to be something abstract, great for enterprise computing, but today, though, it's becoming real and tangible. And that's no more so than here at IFA. Walking our halls, you can really see the benefits of AI, and consumers can get truly hands-on. I predict AI is going to spread much more rapidly than any other consumer technology. It's probably no surprise that our second keynote this year also focuses on artificial intelligence. And it won't be the last. Because AI is so important, we have invited you away back on the IFA keynote stage. Do you remember the days when journalists wrote about the challenger brands from China? Well, the challengers have turned into champions. And there's no brand that exemplifies this trend more than Huawei. If you haven't visited Huawei's global headquarters, you will find it difficult to understand the scale of this company. I've been there several times, and it's really, it's really impressive. It's a reflection of Huawei's huge investment in research and development. I just had one problem. Whenever I was in Shenzhen, you have a CEO, Richard Yu, was somewhere else traveling the world. Thankfully, IFA is the one place where we're bound to meet. So, many thanks, Richard, for returning to the IFA keynote stage to show us the ultimate power of mobile AI. Thank you, Jens. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, big player to back to Berlin again. And so last year here in IFA, we launched the, the Huawei the mobile AI concept and a mobile AI solution. What's a mobile AI? It's the on-device AI and the cloud AI together. And uh, also last year in IFA, we launched the world the first mobile AI SOC chipset. And here's the first mobile phone chipset which has AI processor inside. We call it the NPU, the Neural Network Processor. After we launch the mobile AI and more and more apps, uh, they can support this. And we also bring more and more AI services, like the master AI for the camera, like the AI translation. 
like the low power consumption AR using the AI technologies. And uh, with time flying, more and more apps we are using the AI capability. We want to take the lead of the AI smartphone. We are leading in this industry the AI performance and the AI services. So today, I bring you maybe the world's most powerful and intelligent 7 nano chi chipset, our mobile AI chipset, this one. <laughs> the Qing 980. The Qing 980. Why we call it the most powerful and intelligent? We achieved the six world first. It's a world first 7 nanometer mobile SO SOC chipset. And also, we are using the university the most powerful CPU. <laughs> Thank you. The ARM Cortex A76 based CPU. We are first one in the industry to introduce the dual AI process inside. We call it dual NPU. <clears throat> we have the latest generation, the GPU, and the fastest. 4G LT modem inside, and also fasted the uh, Wi-Fi connection, and also fasted the DRAM support. Unbelievable, it is in so tiny size. The smaller than my nail, in this size, it has 6.9 billion transistors on it. It's so complicated, so <laughs> high density. <clears throat> so the Q980, and uh, our target is we want to bring the most powerful and intelligent to everyone, to every smartphone. The most powerful and efficient and also ultimate intelligence and ultra-fast connectivity. That's the first so looks how can we bring the powerful and efficiency to you. We bring you our design concept for this idea. We are using cutting-edge technologies to bring you a higher performance, higher energy efficiency, and a compact compact design. The energy efficiency is the key, not only the performance for the smartphone to achieve longer, better life. In the last three years, we are working on this seven nanometer technology with our partner. We put so much resource on research and co-engineering and technologies and evaluations. And the three years passed, we take the long Unbelievable journey, you can see. We have incredible breakthrough. We have so much resource, so much technology, and we are putting on the seven nanometer validations and also preparing for this mass production. Today, the, this chipset is available now. I know the seven nanometer chipset compared with the 10 nanometer, it has a huge improvement. The speed improvement over 20%, and the power efficiency near 40% energy efficiency improvement and the uh, logic density, 1.6 times. And if you, if you look back at the Huawei the Qing chipset from Qing 920 to up to today, the Qing 980, the transistors increased from 2 billion to 6.9 billion uh, transistors. It's uh, really, really complicated. And not only the, the transistor number, but also the density more higher, even more higher. Today, the 7 nanometer chipset achieved 6.8 times higher density than several years ago, so 28 nanometer chipset. More importantly, it's the industry's latest, most advanced ARM Cortex A76 based uh, CPU. It achieved the performance 75% improvement and the power efficiency 58% improvement, a huge improvement, especially the power efficiency. That's, that's the key for the phones, the performance. And uh, compared with uh, you know, the Snapdragon or S845, uh, we have performance uh, over 37% better and power e efficiency 32% better. In the past, we are using the big little architecture for the CPU. The big core for high performance, the little core for long battery life. But today, we improve that. We are using a new architecture for that. Big middle little architecture from big little to big middle little. So the, the too big for high performance, for turbo performance. This is a Cortex-A76, is running on 2.6 gigahertz. 
uh, high frequency, high speed. And to middle, it's still A76 uh, based, but it's running on 1.92 gigahertz. It's uh, kind of achieved a long lasting performance with this two middle processor. But for little, we upgrade to for Cortex A55, which is running on 1.8 gigahertz uh, frequency, which can achieve really long battery life, power efficiency we can achieve. To uh, scheduling this processor can give the best performance and also have actual long battery life. So that's the key. I want to show you that. So for example, you're listening to music. You don't need a high processing power. One of the little coins is not enough for, the, for achieve long battery life for the phones. But if you do the social network, the Facebook and some other things, maybe you only need a middle core and a little core enough. But for heavy load, heavy load uh, gaming, maybe we need uh, all the processor, uh, too big and too middle, all together to achieve high performance for the uh, gaming, for some heavy load gaming. You know, different uh, kind of apps, you can see that we use different kind of uh, scheduling. The flexible scheduling for the phone to have the phone to achieve higher performance I and mean, with lower power consumption, with higher energy efficiency. You can make the apps running more fast, even for the apps launch time, as you can see, it's getting more short, more quicker. In this generation, the, the chipset, we're also using the latest uh, Mali G76 GPU. The performance has 46% improvement, and the power efficiency is unbelievable, 178% improvement. Huge improvement. <laughs> this uh, SOC also supports the industry the fastest LPDDR4X. You know, industry, the, the fastest sp uh, speed they can support is 1866, around that. But we can support 2100 meters. We can ha have over 20% more bandwidth and also 22% less latency can help you to have more fast speed we can achieve. Typically, the AI processing, we have the computing uh, latency like this. The traditional processing for the AI, you can see that uh, they have system lagging. And also, you need more extra processing power. But today, with Huawei AI, we provide the AI loading prediction technologies. That looks <laughs> this. The AI loading prediction. We can make this the, running the gaming, for example, the, the more smoothly and also less power consumption. That's more important, less power, power consumption. So with our prediction, AI prediction technologies. I give you to show you some uh, comparison like this. This is a CPU uh, oriented uh, gaming. This is NBA 2018. It's a very uh, uh, popular game. You can see that using the Kirin 980, we can have higher frame rate, almost full frame rate. The game is running on Snapdragon uh, 845, but not only the frame rate, but more important, we make a comparison. The performance is over 22% better, the frame rate and uh, smooth. But the power consumption, 32% less. That's the even more important. Less power consumption, less heat generated, and make your phone to play the game more smoothly, better user experience but you, you can play the game the more longer time, your phones, the better life, much longer. Another game is a Pub, PUBG. Uh, this is a, a PUBG, the PUBG is a very popular game in Asia, in China, in many countries. It's very, very the most popular. It's a GPU-oriented uh, gaming. Also, if you make a comparison, you can see this, uh, we have more higher uh, frame rate and also better performance. You can see that we, we play in the game the more smoothly. Here we make a comparison. And uh, with uh, our Kirin 980, you have high performance, low power consumption. But also together, we have on Huawei smartphone using this Kirin 980 chipset, we have GPU tube. With the GPU tube technology together, you, you can see that we have much higher power, power efficiency, much lower power consumption. So you can see that's uh, not only better performance, but also much lower power consumption. The camera experience is on a video. You take, you, people using the phones to take a photo, take a video. So the camera experience is the key for the smartphone. 
on the QE980, we're introducing dual ISP, dual imaging signal processor. And we can achieve more fast processing for the camera and a high efficiency improvement for the recording of uh, power. And also, we reduce the latency for the camera. So it give you the better quality, better experience. And especially for the low light scenario, the noise reduction can get better with this dual ISP. The QE980 also bring you ultimate intelligence, not only ultimate uh, performance. Ultimate intelligence with our AI. This is a dual AI, dual NPU processor, dual neural, neural, neural network processor. And the QE980, we can achieve the three times the imaging recognition performance compared with other phones. I want to show you. For example, we have 500 photo recognition. You can see how, how, how fast we can achieve. In just six seconds, we finished. The other phones, other uh, chipset, you're running for 12 seconds. Another one, you take a more longer time. I cannot wait. I stop that. <laughs> you can see, see the result. 25 seconds. Four times faster than you. <laughs> We extend our AI capability with a dual AI processor, dual NPU, which can do more big things. Like, you know, like the object recognition, we can make this more clear, more particular the recognition for the object. We not only can real-time processing the, the, the photo image, but also real-time video we can process it with the dual AI processor. And we even can make the real-time object segmentation more precisely. I have a demo to show you, to show you that how it works. Let's see. This guy is playing the, the, the basketball. You can see real-time multi-person gesture recognition. You can, you can capture that very clearly. So in comparison, in, uh, in summary, that's the, our AI processor, uh, we have the 134% improvement compared with uh, before and 88% of the AI power efficiency improvement. So we uh, compare with the uh, other chipset, compare with S845, uh, you can see that's much higher performance, much lower power consumption. So energy efficiency, 88%. With this, uh, the Kirin 980, we also achieve the fastest connectivity. The connectivity is our full four and a half G LT modem, and we support four by four MIMO, and a five carrier irrigation, five CCA, and a 256 quam modulation for higher speed. But also, we can uh, expand to support 14 IX layer. So we upgrade the speed from last generation, 1.2 gigabit per second to 1.4 gigabit per second. The, this is a CAT21, the latest, the fastest four, four and a half G LT modem in the world. The smartphone is very important for everyone, but always you meet some weak signal, especially indoor, underground. Uh, so the most difficult area is in the metro, in the subway, uh, in the high-speed railway. It's always uh, meet the weak signal. But with the Huawei, the Q980, we have much better performance uh, modem technology inside. And that's why that's, we can have higher, uh, better signal in this weak signal area, we have better performance. Especially than when you play the gaming on high-speed ra railway on the metro. You, if you make a comparison, you can see we, ha we can achieve 10 times smoother data streaming. Especially when you're playing the game, much less suspension uh, ratio. So this that brings, that it's really bring you the better experience. Together with the high uh, 1103, the uh, combo, we can help you to achieve the fastest Wi-Fi connection. Compared with other uh, premium uh, flagship chipset, we can, our Wi-Fi speed almost doubled. Compared with the most closer solution to us, we can have 70% uh, fast speed. So it's really, really super fast speed of the Wi-Fi connection. The QE980 also supports a dual frequency band, dual uh, GPS. We can bring you super precise positioning. You can have 10 times the position accuracy increase. This chipset will make the 5G solution available with working together with the 5G modem. 
You know, this is a four and a half G SOC modem, but uh, we have Huawei the Balloon 5000 modem is working together. Then they can have the, the best 5G uh, solution. We make this the 5G ready. In worldwide, in many countries, they start to give the license to the carriers of 5G. So we will make the 5G available for our flagship phones using this QV980. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the QV980. A big step forward compared with the last generation, the QV970. Not only is it from 10 nanometer to 7 nanometer, but also from the Cortex A73 to latest uh, CPU A76 based. The performance uh, much higher, the power consumption much lower. With uh, our leading dual AI processor, which can have the industry's best AI pro um, processing in the world. So we dramatically to leverage the GPU capability from the Mali G72 to G76. So dramatically improve the, the energy efficiency and the performance. And also have the fastest modem, fastest Wi-Fi, fastest uh, DRAM support. So QV980 have a huge improvement compared with the industry, the other vendors, you can see that. In all the aspects, you can see that so we, no matter computing power, the GPU power, CPU power, in energy efficiency, AI, 4G LT modem, Wi-Fi, DDR, uh, 4X, all the support, all the area, we have the much better performance. But here you see, oh, the GPU benchmark. The GPU benchmark is uh, similar. Why this is uh, not le leading ahead? Uh, this uh, GPU uh, benchmark test is uh, not a real experience because we have the GPU tuber, I show you. With the GPU tuber for the gaming, the experience is like this. <laughs> In all the aspects, we are leading ahead. We are ahead of our, uh, our competitors. We are leading performance. So back, back to see again. Without the GPU tuber, the GPU benchmark test, maybe, oh, it's uh, Q980 and the others, the similar performance. So with our GPU tuber on it, so all aspects, the best. So Q980 will be the most powerful and intelligent ever chipset in the world. So the Q980, the best uh, processing technology, the best CPU, the latest generation, the GPU, and also the fast modem, fastest speed. All the performance is the industry the best, best in class. Thank you. We will launch the uh, uh, May 20 uh, flagship phones in London in October 16th. And the first smartphone were powered by this Kiwi 980 chipset will May 20. And the second one will be the Huawei, the Honor Magic 2. And which yesterday, uh, George, he launched uh, in IFA yesterday. So uh, welcome you to London to, to witness our Mate 20 series launch. Last year, we launched the Huawei Mate 10 a series smartphone in Munich. After we launched, we already shipped out over 10 million uh, uh, smartphones. In the spring of this year, we launched the Huawei the P20 series in Paris. In just five months, we ship over 10 million, the P20 and P20 Pro. And in this whole life cycle, I believe that the P20 and the P20 Pro will ship more than, more than 15 million, even 16 million. And you will see the Huawei P20 series phones we have strong growth compared with the P10. Globally, over 80%. Like in Asia Pacific, in Latin America, in Europe, in China, all have strong growth compared with the last generation. The P20 Pro has recognized that the industry is the best flagship phone on camera te uh, technology. On camera experience. It has a 40 megapixel Leica triple camera. Also, not only 40 megapixel uh, triple Leica camera, but also have the largest uh, pixel size, which have the best uh, low light condition and best low light uh, quality. And also, optical room and uh, capability have very strong, uh, the best performance. When we launched this phone, the DXO marks as the industry the best flagship phones on the camera, on the photo, on the video, both on the photo and the video, the number one. And the P20, number two. And even after uh, we launched uh, five months up to today, the P20 Pro is still the number one. I believe that uh, this year, maybe no other vendors can break this. 
Only Huawei, me ourself, maybe. So the P20, <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the Mate 20. <laughs> the photo, the, even the P20, is 107. The score is still the highest. One. So the best camera performance. By this, the best performance, you know, we win a lot of awards worldwide, like TIPA. You know, typically TIPA is the best award only to the professional cameras. It's only for professional cameras. But it's the first time for them to give the award to a smartphone. So Huawei P20 Pro, the best photo smartphone by the TIPA. We're very proud of we win this. For six continuous years, we win the best smartphone by the Acer. We win a lot of awards. Here is some of them. By global professional tech, tech media, we recognize as a five star number one by almost all of the media, the, player, the tech, tech media. The P20, P20 Pro, the best phone, best flexi phones, with the best performance, best camera experience, five star. Today, we want to bring more things, so more colors for this the P20 and P20 Pro. It's our designer inspired by the natural color. It's uh, Aurora in Nordic countries. You, you, it's uh, maybe the most amazing color in the world. And we're inspired by this. We bring the, this mysterious and energetic color to the, on the phones with this Aurora color. It's a Morpho Aurora I bring to you. This is the, the phone with this color. It's a very unique color, more of an aurora color. Another very beautiful thing is the mother of pearl. This color is white but unique. You have something is not just white. It's something is the pearl and the mother of pearl. Both are is amazing color. So it's we uh, using this color and also on the phones with uh, this bring the natural color. So we bring the pearl color, pearl white color. You can see we have two colors. I show you these two colors together. This time the, we bring two colors for the P20 and the P20 Pro. We launched the Twilight. The color is an amazing color. But now today, we bring two new colors for this. More for Aurora uh, and also the pearl, pearl white color. Today, we also bring more style with the Huawei P20 Pro. The genuine laser, hand craftsmanship. The laser is the most comfortable in your hand. Not sleepy and also not easy to broken, even your you for the phone on the ground. So we use this as a high-end technology, the natural feeling, the craftsmanship. We bring the real laser to the, on the phones, on the P20 Pro, the real laser. And uh, we have one color, it's uh, golden brown. Uh, the back is uh, genuine Italy, genuine leather. And also we have this elegant black, this color, elegant black. You can see. <laughs> and we also have high specification for this. The eight gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabyte storage. It's designed for high performance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a genuine leather version for P20 Pro. We, we launched this today. It's uh, maybe the leading uh, in this industry to introduce, introducing the, the genuine leather, Italy in genuine leather on the smartphone. Thank you. <laughs> today, you know, we bring the AI experience on the smartphone, and even you talk with your phones uh, uh, by the Google Assistant or like, like that. Today, we also want to bring the AI to your home. So today, I bring uh, a new gadget for you. It's a Huawei AI Cube, this one, <laughs> AI Cube. So what's this? It's an AI speaker, but also with a 4G router, router inside, powered by the Amazon Alexa AI speaker. Uh, this is powered by. And this one have a high speed 4G internet connection and with a CAT6, uh, the 300 megabit per second, 4G LTE connection, and also have the dual frequency band Wi-Fi connection, which can maximum support 1,200 megabit per second. 
So fast Wi-Fi connection and a fast LTE connection. If you are uh, using this, you will see it's very impressive sound. We have our largest size, the uh, big sound cavity, and also have the dual passive radiator to make the best sound quality, and also for the high sound response, the original t uh, timbers. We have the multi uh, microphone processing array to guarantee you to have far field uh, long distance voice recognition with this speaker. So this is running with Amazon Alexa service. For the home, the Amazon Alexa have very good uh, user experience. Today, I'm very glad to uh, invite the vice president of Amazon Alexa, uh, Daniel Rush, on stage. Let's warmly welcome him. Richard, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here with the Huawei team. You know, Huawei is a brand that's truly recognized the world around. Uh, and we're so thrilled to be working with you, uh, integrating Alexa into the new Huawei AI Cube. It's hard to believe that it's been less than four years since Alexa was introduced to the world. We started off with just one device, and Alexa could do just a handful of things. Since then, we've introduced devices that are smaller, more affordable, so that customers can bring Alexa to every corner of the home. We've int introduced devices with screens so that customers can be presented with visual information alongside audio. And of course, we've externalized the capabilities of Alexa. We did that within month months of launch so that excellent developers like Huawei could invent alongside us to bring devices to every corner of the home and beyond. And along the way, Alexa also learned a few more things. In fact, she learned many millions of things. By opening up the Alexa Skills Kit to developers and introducing the power of skills, Alexa learned to do many millions of things. There are now more than 50,000 skills for Alexa. You can use Alexa to order a pizza, get yourself an Uber or Lyft car, manage your personal finances. Of course, you can also use Alexa to control smart home devices, and that's always been one of the most popular uses of Alexa. Just at the end of last year, Alexa could control 4,000 smart home devices. There were 4,000 Alexa-compatible devices in December of last year, and that took over three years since we launched Alexa. In just the nine months since then, that selection of devices for customers has quintupled from 4,000 devices to over 20,000 devices. Voice is truly driving a revolution in the smart home. We're thrilled to be working with Huawei to incorporate that Alexa-enabled experience right into their products. The number of Alexa-enabled devices has tripled in just the last year, and here at IFA you'll see over 50 different product announcements incorporating Alexa directly into a product or enabling Alexa control. Again, this is truly driving a revolution in the smart home, and we're happy to be inventing alongside Richard and the Huawei team. The Huawei AI Cube, the 4G, the LTE connected the router and with the AI speaker together. We are not only connected, uh, by uh, the people connected, but everything should be connected. We are living in the IoT world, the Internet of Things, everything connected. So today I bring uh, a new thing, is uh, one of Huawei IoT products. We call Huawei Locator. You can see uh, uh, so small and tiny things. What's this? It's uh, a locator that is to have long, over two weeks, uh, the battery life. And they can have high precise uh, positioning. You can locate where, where it is. And also have global roaming we can support. We can support the NB IoT, the EMTC, and the 2G, and all the network we can support. And also water dust proofing this, with this. And on this, we all, I also have SOS button. And you can press, press the button for the SOS long press to send. We have the geographical the fence and uh, for alerting, so this with this. And uh, this also supports the Bluetooth low energy font. 
you can take with uh, this on your with your pets and with your kids <laughs> the bag all your luggage everything so any any valuable things with this you can locate where it is if it's out of your range you can make it alert so at you can segment the to set the geographical lens for the friends for this so it's uh, the Huawei the locator is long standby the battery life with a global IoT locator. It's a long battery life, precise positioning, and a global rolling, yeah. and also with a, a SOS the button. Today we launched several products, and uh, you may want to know the price and available. One will be all, this is a P20 and a P20 Pro. The new color, the same price as before. The high specification is 128 gigabyte storage. And now this is the laser washing. The genuine laser washing is 999 euros. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a product today we launched. The industry most powerful and intelligent processor, the QV980, and a new color, new style for the P20 series flagship phone, and our Huawei, our AI cube, and AI speaker with AI router together, and the Huawei locator. You can experience this in our Huawei booth, uh, the Hall 6. Thank you. <clears throat> <clears throat>